I'm checking the comments. Y'all keep saying, hey, go react to the new AD and T Rogue interview. I ain't know what y'all was talking about. Then I seen Ralphie the Plug post something about a, a rap report card, and I was like, okay, he wasn't too pleased with it. So I gotta go. You know, I went ahead and tapped in, you know what I'm saying? But I couldn't watch it without reacting to it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? And according to y'all, AD them did it again. You know, the last time he went crazy in the interview. It was with OT Genesis, the whole OT Genesis and Yazzy situation. That was crazy, you know what I'm saying? One of my biggest videos on YouTube right now. Uh, first things first, though. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Santana, back with another video, back to react. We got the Dijon Paul interview, LA Rap Report card, being black and more. Man, we about to jump right into this one, man. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss the video. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? You know what I'm saying? We back, you know what I'm saying? With me, you know what I'm saying? T-Rail with my boy AD. We, man, we finna get it going, man. And today's guest, man, is is a real special one right now for it's me. Teddy Ray. In Los Angeles, California. He sparked up a lot of controversy through the city, and I felt like he should have had a he needs a bigger platform to explain, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of what's going on. This is my boy Dijon, you know what I'm saying? He has a magazine in Los Angeles, California, where, you know what I'm saying, where he represents a lot of Los Angeles uh, artists, you know what I'm saying, to, to break them through or whatnot. But today, you know what I'm saying, we're going to explain why he made up this Los Angeles, California uh, report card and sparked everything going. He even had big people, you know what I'm saying, big artists and producers like Mustard even going in and explaining what was going on, so today let's get it, my brother. Yes, sir, thank you for having me pull up, both of y'all, for real. Yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, a lot of people was like, fuck that nigga, don't have that nigga. <laughs> oh, damn. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie, it was me at first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was one. No, he was one of them. Hey, listen how AD said. He told us, yeah. <laughs> he couldn't wait to say that. Okay. I'm going to keep it all the way G. Yes, sir. I feel like out of nowhere, bro, you just like, you tried to hit me over the head with some shit. And I was like, nigga. You? Yeah. I tried to hit you over there. Like, you don't remember me and you was talking about, I think, the OT situation? That's how me and you follow each other. Correct, correct. No, I said, um, what did I say about the OT situation? It was like. It was like uh, somebody said something like, I think, I f hey, like, oh, I fuck with what they doing. It's entertaining. Mm -hmm. and he was like, that wasn't entertaining. Like, they dancing for the white man or something like that. That's oh, like, shit. He talking don't crazy. Know, don't quote me. Don't quote me if I'm wrong. Because right. you a smart nigga. I'll be seeing you. You, you articulate yourself very well. Uh -huh. So I ain't going to misquote you. But whatever you said, I kind of was like, nigga, that ain't the key over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and I understood. You even gave me some fucking damn news. He's like, look at this shit. That's some article or something like right, that. I remember that. I remember giving yeah. you a know, reference or something in the past. Um, when I just think of No Jumper, I think of um, Chess Records in the 1950s and 60s. Lenny Chess. And uh, how he had Eddie James, Money Fuck Waters, Chess Records. Connor Wolf, Walter, um, Chuck Berry. And then you have the 60s. Here comes Motown. Here comes Barry Gordy, a black man doing it. Okay. And he has Diana Ross Supreme, Temptations and whatnot. Like, the stuff like that. So... It's not um, saying one's better than the other, just saying I like to do things the pro-black way, like the, you know, the Motown way. And this is Chess Records, and that's cool, because Chess Records, like I just said, I'm just named le legendary artist, but I'm repping Motown. This is the Motown. Hey, so before you, even get, before you even get into that, man, let people know, you know what I'm saying, why you feel like, you know what I'm saying, your point of view is valid, you know what I'm saying, and why people should be listening to you. Um... People should be listening to me because they're going on my page listening to me. Yeah, you know? explain what you got going on currently, you know what I'm saying, and what you've done and, like, the history, you know what I'm saying, of everything you've done as in the as culture, as, you know, okay. as far as yourself. Well, my start in the business, like what you're asking? <laughs> yeah, you're starting the business and what you're doing currently. Right, well, I started, um, I've never done anything else. I've always been in the music business since I was 12 years old. Damn! I started as a social media manager for a few uh, local artists, and then um, by the time I was in high school, I was managing and then by the time I got out of high school, by the time I was like 19, I was putting together stages for BT, like the LA stages with RJ, Joe Moses, Compton AV, a few other artists like that. And then after that, by the time I was 21, I had a distribution deal with Priority. Damn! So, um, I was just having this issue where... I Yo, who is, buddy? Nigga, distribution deal at, at 21? And I don't even know who you is! And get Jeez! Listen to me. If I say go left, they will go right. 
If I say go right, they go left. So if I say this needs to be the single, they got to drop something else. They just it, it, they couldn't help it. So I was like, what can I do to drop the jewels that I'm trying to give to clients just on a widespread level? So I started the day in the lay. First was a blog. Then last year, it became a magazine. No, the year before last, it became a magazine. Yeah. And starting day in LA, you've been reaching out to artists and like underground artists and just featuring them in your magazine and right. so forth. You're putting them on. Uh, absolutely. I mean, we've had uh, AZ Chite on our first issue, came to forefront. Have y'all ever seen the Day in LA magazine or any of that? I have never seen this. We ain't gonna try to pause it too much though. I've had Blue Bus Clam in the magazine, Wally the Sensei. Uh, every year I do a freshman cover, which is what this is. This was last year's freshman cover. With uh, I try to get ten LA rappers, but normally a couple people don't show up each year. So um, I got, I got some for that too. All right, that's cool. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you know that. how that goes. It's LA, so a couple people don't show up. But mm -hmm. we do the freshman cover every year. Um, but I've also interviewed like people like Mary J. Blige and um, Yellow wow. Beezy and Ruby Rose and people from different markets. But I do like I love doing the LA rap shit. As far as doing, like, music from different regions, I really have to, like, you know, it really has to make sense. But as far as L.A. rap, I just breathe it. You feel me? Because, like I said, I've never done anything else. And it's funny you say this shit about miss somebody missing it. So somebody, I guess, missed one of the covers. Mm. And what you said was funny as fuck. We was in the studio laughing. But Casey Veggies told me <laughs> that uh, you, you reached out to him. Uh -huh. And I guess you're supposed to do your cover. He was supposed to do our spring issue last year, last. Uh, like you May. put Casey then, Veggies on the I cover. Know, I, I don't know if you missed it on purpose or anything like he that. Just didn't show up. We had me and the photographer standing there. Um, no communication, like not gonna be able to make it this and the third. But I don't want to pin it on Casey because I can name maybe 10, 15 they artists that have done, done the same shit and then get on Twitter and say it's no platforms out here, it's nobody supporting me. Y'all not fuck with me this that, and the third, but it's like y'all don't show up to press. Like you invited me here today, I'm here. I was here on time. I show up to press. I'm a professional. This is my job. It's not fun. And so he flaked on the shoot, but I never say anything about it. So I don't understand my issue. With no, Casey. no, but it was funny because. He said after that, you, you know, y'all was going back and forth, and you told the nigga, hey, that's why you was in the special ed classes in high school. And I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, we went to EY together. So when, he I, said, I know, when he said he was a, he was a teacher's aide, he said he never was in the special all classes. Day? All day? <laughs> No offense, but all day, like, you were teacher aid all day from first to sixth period. You know, hey, yeah. Hey, but, what you say, man? But he was mad when he was telling me that, and I was like, the nigga said, nigga said, I'm a special ed classes, and I'm dying. <laughs> hey, so I can tell this nigga right here got, like, a crazy sense of humor. He say a lot of shit that he, I don't know if he be thinking about how other people gonna feel when he say shit, like, but he just be saying shit, like, like, he, he one of those, uh, is it nonchalant? I can't even remember. But it's like one of those people who just say shit, they don't really care how they say it. Like, or how people perceive like, it. I said that shit funny, but I understand this shit too. And, you know, going back to it, I really feel like you do care about the West Coast. Right. Like, and I feel like you are somebody that people should pay attention to and have an opinion. So even like when I first seen the report card, at first I said, this nigga bugging. And then I, I went back and I said, hmm. This is somebody who really critiques and he's giving his honest opinion. Some people don't like the opinion and shit like that. No different than a DJ academics. It's a professional opinion. Yeah, it's a professional opinion. Right. And and you value to that, but when, you know, my manager was telling me he would be broke down your list. Okay. And he was like, if Tyler the Creator is A plus I didn't put A plus, he has an A. Tyler Creator on the list? If he if he has an A minus, if he has an A period, everybody else has to stack up to Tyler the Creator. And it's like, damn, who on the list is even close to Tyler the Creator? And Hold on, who's all on this list? Critical acclaim, that's the most versatility and shit like that. Today he got um, artist of the year. Artist yeah, of the year, complex. Mm -hmm. by, uh, complex. So it's like, nobody's doing it on a massive level like Tyler with the critical acclaim. You have artists that are successful, but not with the critical acclaim. He should be on his list. That's one because he's not a new artist. But I wonder He shouldn't be on the list. No, no he should be on the list. Watch this. Open up your phones. Let's all open up our phones. Go to Apple Music and click on the new LA playlist. Mm -hmm. And Tyler the Creator is on there. Yeah, but I'm not. So I'm, if this says if the new from, LA. But if you're from Los Angeles. Right. We know, we know better. But Z, Vince, Z, Vince Z, Z Stable, from LA. Vince, Vince Stable right. and Tyler Creator, we know better. Yeah, Vince, Vince, Vince shouldn't be on there. But, but Tyler but, shouldn't be on there. So if this, hear, hear me out. So if this is a room, and I'm calling this the new L.A. Rap Kingdom, mm -hmm. 
is Tyler the Creator and Vince Staples gonna be here? Or are they gonna be in in, in the old room? Did they not walk through the room? Now, if I put YG or RJ or somebody on, it just depending on play. if you breaking it down, what years you breaking it down from. But before we get into that, I, I didn't. Um, when you made all these statements, I really didn't know who the fuck you was. So I went back, I did my research, and I looked. Yo, T. Real is tripping. How he was doing it, and I was like, okay, it's it, you gotta have some type of appreciation for this. Cause it's like no, like nobody put <coughs> forth the energy. You know what I'm saying? To do to do what you were doing. You know what I'm saying? You you're putting you're putting a, your own list together. You 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 have your own covers going. You're writing your own articles. Oh, no. Like. You're doing as much as you can in the hip hop community. You feel me? Um, so I think this report card does hold a little weight. You know what I'm saying? And your opinion does hold. A, you know what I'm saying? A little weight. Hopefully, it make niggas but get on their shit. What I didn't like is what I was hearing just through the grapevine of you know of your character. I mean, so because niggas is bashing your character, so you can you can you can you know defend it right now. But you wore that shit on the shirt too, right? Yeah. yeah. Black shirts. <laughs> oh, that's hard. Yeah. I got entertained as far as my character. Um, but I'm just Who saying. good pro... Hey, I go lie. He just promoted himself. Wonderful. Like, you made a report card and then got on no jumper. You won. You literally made your point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as critiquing niggas' rap styles that's in L.A., though, like, that's crazy because it's a lot of gang politics that's in L.A., like. To even want to say something about these niggas' music or about them, like niggas are gonna take offense and want to maybe do something to somebody. You see what I'm saying? Before you say that, I'm saying you you, you came here and said we on a white platform. Um, you, no, you, let's get to that afterwards. Well, let's stick to this. Well, we cannot let them ask me whatever we want. Okay. We, we can't. I just that's the only thing I didn't I didn't like about. Is that not a fact? Is this not a white on? It is a white platform, but it's nothing wrong to being on a white platform. I but never said that. It was like. DJ Charisma, I was hearing stuff about her. DJ Head, I was hearing stuff about him. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like me. A lot uh, of people have problems with me. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of big people don't like you as so far as... Um, wait a minute, what's your problem with DJ Head? I don't have a he got problem with, with the DJs? Um, I got, uh, I got into it with... The DJs is who get the music out there. Like, how you gonna have a problem with the DJs? Blogger on... A couple years ago, I got into it with a blogger on the timeline. And I told her that she had racially offended me. And that's all I said to her. I didn't call out her name or anything. And so later that night, maybe around 11 o'clock that night, I got a call from DJ Head's assistant or helper or whatever. And he's like, I am just got off the phone or a group chat and whatnot with Adam Charisma. Adam 22? Smith, who's a oh, shitty, PR, shitty PR out here. Um, <laughs> wow. And he was, like, it was like nine people in total, including himself and Head. And he's like, we agreed that if you don't apologize to this young lady, you won't work out here anymore. You'll be done. And that's what made me get the motivation to go from a blog to a magazine. Because I'm like, all oh, the old heads are blackballing me. So it, I don't understand why it's like a, I don't like head thing. It's more like a, you call me, I don't have a head's number. His assistant called me saying I was blackballed. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. Hmm. That, that, that is industry. You don't like head or you don't like DJ Charisma. You don't like these people. That's done a lot for hip hop artists just like yourself. A but lot? probably yeah, done did this a lot, lot more. And they, yeah. paved, they paved the way. Paved the way for what? For everything. So if I open up my phone and I, I, I read Nigga, things. let me tell you something. Half the people on this list wouldn't be in, in any position they were if it wasn't for people like DJ Head or DJ Charisma playing their shit. Well, just like I'm a tough critic on rappers, I'm a tough critic on everybody, I guess. Because my mixtapes on national platform said many mm -hmm. people rank California in last place when it comes to the music scene. Is it true? Behind Atlanta, New York, Florida, and Chicago when it comes to producing new good artists. Do you agree? So if, if the Lakers are right. losing, I'm looking at Frank Vogel. You get what I'm saying? So you can't tell me somebody's right for LA or hip hop. I like the way this nigga think. Like he logical as hell. Like he's super logical. But here when every day people on Twitter saying LA radio don't fuck with us. LA I mean, radio but don't you gotta do us. as much as you can as far as putting the artists in place, you know what I'm saying? That's is that's that's doing a lot. If a person say, Hey yo, DJ Head, you know what I'm saying, who's the next artist booming? Nigga A D. And then A D go in the office, that's that's all I have to do for you. Then, you know what I'm saying? That's then, a lot. I don't think that's enough. That's and, and that's a difference of opinion. I don't think that's enough. What I'm saying is that's not enough. It hasn't been enough. And it's proof that it's not enough. I just read a post that said it's not enough. But what uh, more should you be doing? There's a plethora of things to do, like making, this, this is, nobody told me to do this, this is something that you do, this is something that you do, you come up with things, use your brain, you don't just, bro, that's hard, bro, that's hard, bro, that's hard, listen to this, bro, that's hard, 
Let's go to the BDS. Pull up. Let's get a laptop out, laptop out here and pull up the BDS pin. See but how, how is this going to be YouTube? lucrative for an artist? This is and for him to take care of his family. You so can't Jason say this Cash, is more lucrative than bringing me into a record label. This didn't bring somebody into a record label. Record label mm. This didn't bring people to record labels. I don't have a label situation on the table because of this, where I can sign artists in my life. You probably and, do. And Jason Cash didn't. Mm. Get so much Talk to your shit. He did. So I have also given a platform now, to artists. I, I, I like. Wanna, I like. I like the people looking at this list and they like the nigga feel like this. Right. That's turning me up and it's gonna put the battery in my yeah. back to Airplane do better and James. shit like Who that. The fuck is that nigga James 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 just, dropped. just dropped. He got the report card all over his cover with Bino on the project. Just dropped while I'm on my way here, and this is his, on his cover and my tweets are on his cover. So this was if it, if you want to take a negative, you take a negative, and if you want to take a positive, you take a positive. I Good way to switch a negative to a positive. Job. Like I said, it's no emotion to it. And you gotta you see. I think you put in too much blame on the DJs okay. because the DJs are hired to play. You know, it's a job. It's programming. Correct. Which so they why. have a sheet of, of on a paper. They right. got to play X, Y, and Z songs every hour right. on the hour, and then there's a small slot for an artist that they want or they choose it. A very small slot. A very small slot. It may be a midnight slot. It's not a daytime slot. This is all business. So. The power of DJs being able to bring new artists to the to the radio, right. they really don't have the ability to do that. I'm not an excuse type of person. I'm not a Michael Jackson was left handed. Keisha Cole has a gap. One, two, one. No, I'm not none of that. I don't do that. <laughs> this nigga, hey, dude, his logic is crazy. His logic is crazy. I'm into results. You get what I'm saying? Right. So if we only have one song last year from LA charting and going gold, which was chosen, congrats to him, that's not enough for me. I want five artists going gold and two, three, four. Four or five artists going platinum. I want. Yo, who did this nigga look like? He he giving me the brothers off of the uh, off of Nutty Professor vibes. That's just me. I'm aggressive with it. I, I really like. I said I, I do this. Nigga, start a radio station here. It's possible. That's very you, possible. Is it possible being black doing that? Is it possible being black ball? That's what I'm saying. It, me, it is possible. It is possible being black ball. But at the end of the day, the internet made it right. to where. Nobody can necessarily blackball you. Now, if you want to get corporate dollars and shit like that, you know, just like in Atlanta, have you heard of Streets of 945? I haven't. Okay, that's a black on, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that's an independent radio station right. that went against all the top radio stations, the iHearts and everything like that. It's possible. And they're, it's and, and they're just as big. It's like possible with the streets. How 92.3, you know how 92.3 came on the scene? Cause I was I privy to it. Okay, I was one of the artists that you know I wouldn't even have a fucking name if it wasn't for niggas like DJ Head, DJ Charisma. And that's great. These are personal. Hold on, hold on. Let, right. me, let me finish. I'm trying to tell you, 92.3. They came in. They said Power 106 has this. They, they, you know, it's, how many people were they playing on Power 106 before this? Nobody. 92.3 said we want to take over LA. They pick up Big Boy. Mm -hmm. They say, hey, who are some artists from LA? That got a name, we're going to give them full rotation right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Free of charge. We know that costs hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right. I was an artist. RJ was one of the artists. And um, Neff the Prayer was one of the artists. That one little situation changed every single last one of our lives. So you can't say that there ain't people that's trying to bring people into the radio and do some shit like that. Well, I, and I didn't say that. So you feel like you're doing enough? I can always do more. And I plan on doing more. This is definitely a start. If yeah. I get a second to speak, let me say All right, that. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. You didn't acknowledge me telling you that I was in my bed at night and somebody called me telling me that I wouldn't be working anymore in this business. Oh, no, no, so sure. if that happens to you, you're not supposed to have positive feelings towards these people. You're told that these people got on a group chat or a group call or whatnot and said that if you don't apologize to someone for telling them that you were racially offended by what they said, you won't be working. So anytime, and I've had this experience. Did you, did you I, see that though? Did I see what? The group chat. No, I didn't ask him for proof so, of the group chat. No, I'm going off. His but word. did you talk to DJ Head directly? Did he hit you up, or did you get no, mad at his assistant? No, DJ Head quoted my tweet and said, "This is misinformation." When I said we need to have more black representation in media, and that's still up there, and I retweet it often, quite often, because it's funny to me. But um, I don't want to make this about Head. This is not about Head. This is not about charisma. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. not about LA leakers. They've had their time. To me, it wasn't enough. I'm not impressed by it. Nobody can make me be impressed by it. I'm not impressed by it in the slightest bit. So what would you do different? Mm. Uh, I would have... Uh, more... So even like right now... I mean, say he ain't impressed by none of these right folks. Now, what would you do to change L.A. radio? Because uh, one, I would make it L.A. radio. It wouldn't be West Side Wednesdays because this is the West Side every day. 
Ooh. And we don't have to do new at two. We That's can fire. Do all day. I don't believe in um, being minute with stuff. I want to super serve a market. That's how you do business. You super serve a market, you super serve your niche. That's how business transpires. So I would have LA music on the radio all day long. And then just like how you barely hear LA music, that's how you would barely hear Lil Baby, Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B. I will flip it around because this is LA. Now, if this was San Francisco or something, maybe I'd play something different. But this is LA. So why am I not playing, hearing LA music on the radio consistently? But I don't want to make this an LA radio thing because it's not. Well, I'm. When it, back to what you're saying. So, like I said, this is once a business. The companies, you know what I'm saying, the radios are ran by advertising Stip dollars. Stipulations. It's the truth, though. It's the truth, but it's stipulations. But they're saying there's only so much that you can fucking do. It's only so much right, that you so can do. Right, so why are you the Coast Guard and why why are you banging on your chest and all this? If all you can do is, is do a little bit. If you can only do a little bit, you need to be observed as a person that only does a little bit. Because I, can these do, little I can do whatever bit. I want. So I, I, I deserve to, when I'm doing it, to not be getting calls or... Twitter space rooms mm, we talking about shit ain't phone it phone calls about how I'm running my operation I never said anything about how anybody on LA radio was operating until I got that call you get what I'm saying and that's what you're not acknowledging that's why you didn't when acknowledge the last well, time you, you, got didn't, call. you didn't see it though you just, you just admitted but that you didn't called. see it when the last time you well, got a call? I was to pull up on him and ask him to show me through you, his phone. You said the assistant yeah. said something and his you help, heard that DJ helper, Head and Charisma was in here and Adam no, was in there. I didn't there. hear it. His helper called my phone and told me but that. But I asked you, did you see it? So you no, attacked the no, man. No, I didn't teleport through the phone and, and, <laughs> and look in his phone and see the group chat. I took his word for it. He's calling me at 11 o'clock tonight. Did he call you? He called me. I don't know how he got my number to this day. Oh, so Head did call you? His helper I said me. that he called you Had tweeted me And I told you that he said That this is misinformation When I said that More black people Should have representation In media out here And that's still up there But I'm saying The main I, reason because, why you're mad this I'm not mad because of this You was mad That's, a, that's what I've made you Call him an old I've head And trip on him You no. gotta have some You have passion bro. It's gonna make you mad No I'm not mad This is, this is business I'm not mad at all. So if you know the business, then you got to understand, bro. Uh, you if, you was in, if you was in L.A. radio right now, you would not be able to play all these That's people like that. That's how they hold you back. That's how they hold you back. What I'm saying is if I was in charge, your music would have been on the radio. All I ain't going to lie. This is a good-ass video. I can't even really chime in like I want to. Like, this, I just, this, 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 who, we, it's a lot. They just going back and forth. They both got good points. But dude got a good-ass point, like. He basically also shit like I'm standing on what I said and what I did and this is what it is. Time and you will be selling millions of records. So if a person is over here in your corner trying to root for you and, and try to get this for you, why do you keep defending the person that's coming with the? Oh, I'm not the defending. I'm calling him seat. I'm not going against those you. Those are stipulations. Those are those are excuses. I don't respect it. You can't. You can't. Nobody can twist my arm and force me to respect something that I don't respect. I don't respect it. I don't. That's your, that's your I, I'm not impressed by any of these LA media people that came before me. I'm not impressed in the slightest. Like I, I, I'll tattoo it on my forehead. So nobody so at all. Why, so why are we? Ooh, he said he had tattooed on his forehead like crit man. <laughs> we so worried about what what they're currently doing and not worried about putting a hundred percent in what you're doing. But I, I am concerned mm. with what I'm doing. These people call me, text me, make Twitter rooms about me. When the last time they called you? I get things all the time. I get things all the time. It's so it. DJ Head Helper still calling you? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you called him a helper. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you I focus on what I do. I so many on other do. outlets too that you can, you know what I'm saying? You can put your your shit on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You have YouTube, you can start a podcast, you got Twitch, you can do that shit, you know what well, I'm saying? I didn't come here for so many other things you can do. I no, I didn't say insults. I said oh. corporate consultants. I didn't come here for co corporate consulting from employees. Who, who's an employee? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just called these niggas employees? Yo, now that's offensive. He said, I didn't come here for corporate insulting from employees. Oh, we got to run that back. What did he even say that for? What did t Rail say? <laughs> they probably called your ass one time. They just went from laughing today. We do I, focus, I focus on what I do. There's so many other outlets, too, that you can, you know what I'm saying, you can put your, your shit on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You have YouTube, you can start a podcast, you got Twitch, you podcast. can do that shit, you know what well, I'm saying? I didn't come here it's, for corporate. You got a podcast.
Oh, did he get offended by the podcast shit? Because why, why would he say that? I feel like T-Rail was just trying to give him some game right there. Many other things you can do. I didn't come here for corporate consulting. I didn't come here for corporate consulting from employees. Who, who's an employee? I'm a motherfucking boss. You know me. Are you talking about us? You guys work here. I'm a boss. Nigga, I'm a partner. And this motherfucker, you feel me? Cool. You gotta watch right. your mouth, bro. Right. No, but no, I'm, right. no, no, but no, I'm, I'm a, nah, nah, I'm a motherfucking boss. Like that. I know, but uh, I, no, but matter of fact, yo, hold on, time I rerun that back. Hold on, what just happened that fast? That's, that's, that's cool. You gotta that's watch right. your mouth, bro. That's great. No, but no, I'm, no, no, but no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a motherfucking boss. Like I know, but no, but matter of fact, this is not what I'm saying. I'm a collaborator on that shit. That's what I'm saying. This is my business. I don't hey, don't nobody tell us nothing. Shit over here. You talking about? I need to do that. I got you on there. I need to do that. I got you on here when a nigga told you no. And I appreciate it. Who told him no, AD? YouTube, like I don't have a podcast. But, 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 but we, don't, we, don't, we don't have no rules over here. We do the but, fuck okay, we want. Okay, hear me. Let's, let's, got, let's, got, let's break it down. You just told me to do YouTube. You just told me to do YouTube. No, but I was saying that. What did AD just go grab? Was that the blammy? Please don't tell me the AD picked up the blammy doing the... Come on, man. But we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have no rules over here. We do the fuck we want. Okay, hear me. Let's 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 break it down. You just told me, you just told me to do YouTube. You just told me to do YouTube. No, but I was saying that, and I do a podcast, and I have a YouTube channel. But I didn't know that. I was just making sure you had your shit going out on the platform, so we won't be worrying about everybody else. You got to know the facts before you speak. See, T. Rail just trying to put him on game. Know the facts before you speak. Right, all right. Because I didn't come here. I could have came here tripping, did whatever I wanted to you. I said, man, whatever. Yo. Whatever I want. No, really, I just came here to tell you that. You... Yo, this nigga AD tripping. Right. Because I didn't come here. Oh, rewind that. The platform, yes, so we won't be worrying about everybody else. You got to know the facts before you speak on niggas, bro. Okay. That's what I was telling you before. Okay. Know the facts before you speak. Right, all right. Because Yo, AD I beef him. Here, I could have came here tripping, did whatever I wanted to you. I said, man, whatever you wanted to me. Whatever I wanted. No, really, I just came here to tell you that you was really right on this shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? At, I, I, I really came here. At, I, at point, but at, I just at. wanted to. I just wanted to. I wanted you to elaborate on. Would you like to go through the, the no, race no, shit and all that shit? And, and, like and, as, a, and as a black man, bro, yeah. you feel me? I don't like the fact that we all even have to be divided when it comes down to that. You a person that really speak? You said you down for black people? I am. Okay. So at the end of the day, bro, I feel what you're doing right now is good to have an opinion, but you're doing more tearing down right now than helping the same community you want to help, bro. Yeah, that's why, why we got. That's why. I, that's why we but feel why like we got you on here. And I don't care about anybody who feels like I'm tearing something down because I'm not tearing. I know in my heart, like if he's you know standing on his shit though. That's, that's crazy. You just called me an employee. You insulted me. That's not insulting you. That's as if you insulted me. That's I'm not an employee. I'm a boss. You basically said we DJ heads workers. I got you here because I think we should all be sticking together. Your opinion is very strong. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I love, I love, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, we ain't telling you, you, tell you how to do nothing. Okay. No, we ain't telling you how to do and nothing. I, I respect what you do. We ain't telling you how to do it. No, we show you respect. That's what we're sitting right here talking. That's what I'm saying. So if I had been getting calls and tweets and stuff like that, I would have never said nothing to anybody about how they do their business, their jobs, or whatnot. But people overstep with me and think maybe because I'm young. Minute, you didn't, know, you didn't, the baby you didn't know me. Well, and you didn't is. know me. You spoke on me and OT in a, in a situation over here. And yeah. that's how me and you start talking to yeah, each other. I told you I didn't remember that. All right. <laughs> All right, give you that. But no, at no at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you are a black creator. You have your own opinion. People, yeah, and people are 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 they're holding your opinion to a very high standard. I'm like, yo, can we just say I'm glad they laughed that off real quick? That could have just went to some whole other shit. Young man needs to come on here. He needs to get his point across, and he needs to protect his character because people are bashing it. So it's a lot of people out there that don't know you. Your Twitter ain't popping enough for people to even be it's, out there it's looking. Now. At, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, now. it's gonna pop. It's, it's gonna be. Now. It's gonna be. Before, yeah, it's, it's gonna be popping even more. But you know when even a viral moment it dies. That's you feel true. me? I got like, cause one. yeah, I got another one this, yeah, yeah, cause this this moment is gonna die. But at the same time, we when need to let it linger. You know what I'm saying? NFTs and and the magazine's coming every month. 
This, everything's gonna be right. I got it. I promise you that. Would you like to go through just one of these? Who's like the most controversial person on here? Before, oh. if, wait, 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 before we get to that, right. I gotta say one more can thing. I and talk I'm gonna leave it alone. No, we gonna we gonna we gonna talk about the music. At least one controversial. No, we gonna get to that. We can be here all on. day. Right. We gonna we gonna talk about the music. We ain't gonna disrespect each other. You feel me? Absolutely. I appreciate you. appreciate y'all having me. Oh yeah 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 yeah. For real. This is this is like a real. Like a real debate and shit like that. I've been doing this all week. Like, interview after interview on. after interview, and mm-hmm. it's the same thing. It's been heated. Hey, come hey, on. Hey, Dijon, Mustard, get your little brother, man. Because <laughs> you told me that cause it was cool. Is that Mustard real name? No, no, no. Nah, no you, don't, you, don't, you don't feel like you owe Gina over there an uh, apology? Because the same shit that you're doing, bro, mm-hmm. she been doing, as a black woman, she been doing grinding her whole fucking time on the scene trying to help LA artists. That LA cipher, a lot of people wouldn't have label deals if it wasn't for her creating that. Have no help, no nothing. I'm the reason why she's even in the building. Adam asked me, is there any creators from LA who deserve a chance and just don't got the platform? Gina got the platform. Right. And she's doing the same exact thing that you're doing. And you know she's not. Who is she Gina? And said, Damn, you work for a white man. No, you you ignoring can't. all the older shit that she did to help most of these when niggas that's on this list right, even get to her. So, she came in, Miss Gina came in my Twitter workshop that I do once a week every Wednesday, just did it yesterday. LA Rap Workshop, where I give tips and uh, try to support and uh, we have dialogues, play games sometimes towards the end. Once a week. I had a Twitter workshop, made a flyer and everything. It has a curriculum. Is a train? Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know I was in a joint. I didn't know oh, I was in a joint. Oh, that's Gina from, um, what, what show they used to have? Mad Lately? So, I didn't, I didn't know. Was that Kiki? With Gina. You asked me to pull up and talk to you. Damn, Gina just pulled up on him. She like, yeah, I'm about to sit right next to this nigga. He want to have something to say? Well, yeah, we finna, we finna get our little debate on right here. No, no, we gonna talk to you. Gina, Gina, Gina. No, that's, that's good. This is unprofessional, Miss Gina. Because, because I didn't. Ask Gina, look at her. Look at her. She about to take we're gonna off. We gonna, gonna talk. We gonna talk. We gonna talk. Gina, we gonna talk. No, Gina. No, Gina. Gina. No, Gina. 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 Hey, Gina. Let us finish talking to him. Yeah, this is and let, let us talk. Gonna... That nigga said this is unprofessional. Is he nervous? Like, did Gina get him nervous? I think Gina's finna beat dude up. I ain't gonna lie too. Well, maybe she might not have won, but she about to put the pause on, buddy. Hey, come on, dog. No, this is this. No, don't let. No, 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 stay. No, 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 this is not professional. I, you act like I'm Please like stay Gina, Gina, here, Gina, real quick. We want to speak about it. I want to talk about it. Go over there. We don't. We don't talk. Let him talk and get his opinion over. Let him talk and get his opinion over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Come on. Come on, Gina. Come on, Gina. Look, look, look. Don't don't disrespect her, bro. Just come on, Gina. She's in my. Oh, he just went crazy. He said a man couldn't walk up on me how you just walked up on me. Oh, he felt threatened. He must have. Yo, they low key ganged up on my dude right here though. Like, he didn't say Gina name at all. Did I say anything to her? No, you didn't. That was I me. love this. <laughs> I, I said I, I, I low key. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't say anything. Let's get. I, 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 I bought Gina. This is gold. Can we get the interview? This is gold. Listen to Tira. Let's go. Let's go. Keep the interview. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to the report card. Goodness gracious. Hey, quiet on the set. Let's go. Radio. This is why I love doing no jumper reactions. Like, this should be some of the best reactions I do on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to elaborate while I was working for a white man. We might, we, we might get back to that. You know what I'm saying? God damn. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. And I apologize for being unprofessional. I can't right. Okay. Yes, sir. So, Sorry again, about that. Once a week, I do You're the right. LA Rap Workshop on okay. Twitter Spaces. I planned on doing it the same day that I dropped this list. Yes, sir. Unfortunately, there was another room made by Gina uh-huh. called the LA Rap Report Card. She oh, she did her own Rap Report Card? That's fine. I didn't say anything about it. Yeah. Then the young lady tweets me, you the king of calling niggas out on their shit. You can't be ducking niggas. Cool. That's two. 
Yeah. Third point, intricate point. I'm doing an LA rap workshop with a set curriculum, my notes written down, topics and all that, my, my team ready, all that on point. Yes, sir. She comes in the room and, t- and starts to tell me how she feels about how I do things, my delivery and whatnot. That's not what the room is about. Just like that's not what this interview is about. Yeah. I never get to talk about the fucking report card. We're going to talk about the report card. I just want to talk about the fucking report card. We're going to talk about that. Um, who was y'all like most? Who do y'all want me to go to I first? want you to start with F. The Fs? I want you to start I with I can the pick F's. a random F? Yes, sir. Um, Let's see. Who got an F? You gave Vince Staples an F. I'm not a Vince Staples fan. Again, this is my, this is me. I, 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 I get sleepy. Hey, it's crazy how so many people got an opinion on how he feel about everybody else's music. Everybody don't got the same ears or same type of taste of music. If this nigga want to critique everybody and give everybody these certain type of grades, you know what I'm saying, in his own little type of way, that's him. Nigga, you could do the same thing. You you can give everybody A's if you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? But they will have to, the first person you will give that A to, they, everybody else got to match up that same A. If they don't got those same type of qualities, when it comes to like consistency, uh, uh, wordplay, um, um, vers- versatility, all that good shit. If that shit don't match up to the first person you get at A2 with all these different type of characteristics, then you know what you got to do. You got to drop the letter grade. Then that's when you come to B's, the C's, the D's, and the F's. Come on now, be smart. I love, I, I love Vince Staples, did, 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 and this is Crip. And did, your young man that you brought with you, he should be mm-hmm. saying, Listen, no. we should all be supporting each other. Uh, you know no, what I'm no, saying? I'm not telling but I love, I love Vince Staples. Saying that, you know what I'm saying? But, but what, what is it about his yeah, music? I don't like it's too mellow for me. Yeah. I'm like, when you try to listen to it in the cars. Hey, no cap, I ain't never listened to a Vince Staples song. Like, he probably got songs that I've heard. But I, don't, I can't tell you a Vince Staples. Like, somebody had a gun to my head right now, and it was like, nigga, sing Vince Staples. A hook, song, verse, or anything. Nigga, I'm going to the upper room. Because <laughs> I don't know none of this nigga shit. <laughs> and it's just, it's not hitting all sixes for me. You get what I'm saying? It's too mellow for me. Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe I need to take a downer or something or whatever. I don't know. It's just not for me. Everything's not for me. Again, everybody's welcome to grab a pen and a paper and draw this thing up themselves and fill in oh, the yeah, scores. Yeah, exactly what I said. My next issue of a Daily Magazine, this will be in there without the scores. So my readers be able to fill it out themselves come up with the own grades. This is just me. This is my personal opinion. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. And I think this would make uh, people understand your criteria more. What did you grow up listening to? Who did you listen to? That, you know what I'm saying? I'm for, you asked that. For, for LA, so you know what you're comparing it to. I'm glad you asked that. Well, two parts of that question. Well, as far as what I grew up listening to, tomorrow I'm putting out the golden era or golden age. I haven't figured out. Report card, which is the 2010s. That's YG. That's RJ. That's Dom. That's Scheme. That's a problem. That's Casey Veggies. And I was going to ask you, like, why he didn't... He, he got motor. Damn, he didn't say AD. I was going to ask you, why didn't those artists come before? But I like where you started. Right, if you're going to bring that up. This is why I work. This, yeah. you know, this is why I work. It's, 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 it's that's current. what I grew up on. So that one's going to be like, you know, that's just a little bit more personal to is, me. But that, that, is AD part of that golden age hip-hop in L.A.? I would think so. Like, he came out around the same time as the RJs and... The prime YGs and shit like that. Coming out on Friday. And who was the young lady you had on your report card that you featured in your magazine, but then you end up saying, you know what I'm saying, she was trash or whatnot, and no. she had trash management or whatever the case may be. I, I, I read well, and I don't see trash on you. I don't see I don't see trash written on you. I think I read pretty well. But, um, I think, so. I so think I read pretty well. Interview, you think is a top tier artist, you think is an A plus artist? Fuck no. Same here. I don't every, every, artist, anyway. every artist I interview, every artist I feature in my publication, I don't think they're a top tier A artist. As far as that artist, that particular artist, she specifically asked me, and I'll post it on my page, she specifically asked me to be on the report card. So I said, I'm going to make an L.A. rap report card, and she tweeted asking to be on it. So I, I put her on here, and I gave my honest opinion. When the artist has been out for years and has never dropped Who is a she though? full length project, a full length mixtape or anything, that's an F by default, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah, but why do you put people in your in your magazine that you don't believe in? Who's to say I don't believe in them? Or just like, you know, I that just, you're not a fan of. Believe. Okay, so I'll go back to my first question. Is every artist you've ever interviewed, or is every artist Double XL interviews, or every artist Rolling Stone or Billboard interviews, do they think that that artist is a top-tier artist, or does that artist have a new song 
or new project out that they want their readers to read about? It all depends on the fans and what type of music you like. You know, some somebody that you may think is a F, somebody may think is a A. Right, it's all subjective. So what I'm saying is every artist I've ever interviewed, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm just giving them a chance, showing love, or maybe I know some readers want to check them out. I, I don't just print this magazine up to read it myself. Yeah. Other people want it. And you think their music opinions are strictly based on mine or we're just tied like this? Nah. People, you know, people oh. have different opinions. So we can go to A to Z. Start with Kaylin for real, for real. Because to me, Kaylin for real, for real. You get to talk about yeah. some music. You know what I'm saying? Just yes. Go. Yes, sir. Kaylin for real, for real. He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the t uh, top, you know what I'm saying, new artists one right now. Favorites. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorites, too. He's definitely performing, doing his thing. He's hitting those stages. He's putting in the groundwork. And for him to get a C, I know a lot of Los Angeles this artist is looking at you crazy. Well, let's um, just give it a little bit of uh, context. First off, Cool Mo D did this report card in the 90s. He drew it by hand. I just Somebody found it in a box a couple days ago or a week ago. Sorry, I'm going to continue about a week now. And they posted a photo of it. It goes viral. On there, he has Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, Too Short, uh, Biggie, all them, Jay-Z. He gives them A's. So if when given this same assessment, minus branding, obviously that wasn't a thing in the 90s or wasn't a category in the 90s. If given the same assessment, why would a Kayla for real for real get the same grade as a Snoop Dogg? Now, one day I do hope and believe that he will reach that point of being an A artist. One day I do hope and believe most, if not all, these artists will be an A. But as of right now, you're a C. But in that time when Kumo D did that, they were right. younger artists. You know what I'm saying? So they were they were they're going to be like your, what your next list is. Basically. They're right. younger artists, so you can't, you can't hold A for records. real for real to Snoop Dogg right now. I you can't do that. Same, I gave him the same assessment. That's all. It's not about holding holding this in comparisons. It's about the assessment. If the assessment is lyricism and cadence and flows and all these Kaylin things, hard the though. 90s, are people still not making music? I want to know what your lyricism is. So if Snoop Dogg gets a 10 in lyricism in the 90s, and I give you a lyricism assessment, from my personal opinion, it's going to be a 5. So your personal opinion on Kalen for real, for real, and you a fan in big, CSC. Big right now, one day he will, he'll, he will be an A, hopefully. That's what I'm hoping for. I, I respect that. And we had that conversation with Kalen. I respect and I kind of, kind of broke it down to him. Like, a lot of artists took it personal, and to me, it shouldn't be personal. It's all like just numbers and business, but... Is this nigga like opinion? You never gonna be shit. This is me saying that you still have a little work to do. So maybe yo, if you can't take what this nigga saying about niggas' music, you ain't making it far in rap. I don't care what you talking about. He's one person. A lot, of, a lot of people was fucking up with consistency because they only drop in. Everybody ain't gonna like your music. Or something like that. You get what I'm saying? That that happens out here. So that's gonna drop your your score, drop your grade. So this is just a way for artists. Who would just take a breath and take a second to just really look at it and stop being so defensive. I'm not waking up trying to hurt nobody's feelings or this, that, and the third. No, I just really want to show, like, okay, some artists, in my opinion, could improve in consistency. Some artists, in my opinion, could improve in versatility. Some artists, in my opinion, could step up their pen. What's the problem with that? So your you next know? artist you got on here has a D plus. He's a chipe. Yes. No offense. I don't know who the fuck, you know what I'm saying? You don't like Inglewood, huh? You don't know who... Uh, I, I, fuck, I don't like Inglewood. No, I'm I saying, don't, I like Inglewood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm from Ruchi. I'm from Ruchi. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Ruchi. I'm from Ruchi. I gotta go back. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm about to say, damn. Like, hold on. So, you know what I'm saying? You can explain he, he, to my boy he, why he got a D plus. He sent me a, a voice message and was clowning me or whatnot, but we also talked about it and he only dropped three songs on a solo tip last year. Yeah. And me and him been discussing doing some business and, and changing that, just changing up his trajectory and um, some of his marketing better his rollouts on the solo tip not as far as his joint project with Ruchi but just solo AZ Chike he only dropped three songs last year so an artist is able to hit you up and you give you and you're giving advice all the time and I do 21 tips for LA rappers been doing that for over a year that's an editorial in my magazine and an IG live workshop and a Twitter space workshop uh, what's wrong with LA rap what's great about LA rap what I want to see more of in 2022 I do all these posts that they're on my page and in my magazine I do stuff like that, and when artists hit me up, I give I give them game if I if I can, and if they're open to receiving it, obviously. So what you just said about this artist we just was speaking about, Ruchi is definitely doing ten times more than this artist you just gave a D plus, and my man has a C. Ruchi's doing ten times more than AZ Chike. I think so. I believe that Ruchi capitalized off of his affiliation with AZ Chike. I feel like AZ Chike had a bigger momentum and a and a bigger um movement because it wasn't gang affiliated. When yeah, Ruchi kind of like. Catapulted off of AZ Chai. I really didn't even start hearing about Ruchi until he got and started doing music with Chai. Be all the way honest with you. Yeah, because is 
Ruchi the reason why AZ Chike is from Inglewood all of a sudden? Because this is the niggas who Draco had a problem with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't know, that's why Draco had the song Eagle Weird and shit like that. I don't know if I even heard of Ruchi until he got with AZ Chike, like, to be real. Like, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. When Ruchi um, and him start doing more and more music together, obviously they See what I'm saying? Album last year. That's what kind of also helped Ruchi's moments. And just from an optic, you know, I'm not in their team yet, but from an optic, from the outside looking in, that's what it looks like to me. So I, I want to say Ruchi's doing 10 times more than AZ Chike. I mean, he has a lot more fans. I hear people playing this shit a lot more. You know what I'm saying? I see him on homies doing that shit. You playing that shit. That's, I, mean, I, mean, that's family that's family that's that's I don't think the gap is that big. I don't think the gap between them is that big. The cap ain't that big. It's not a crazy big gap. One take Jake, man. Get on my boy One Take Jake, man. One hey. take Jake, um You call that nigga one take Jake. You can tell he don't listen to this nigga a lot. Hey, one take J was fire at one point in time. I remember like when Blue Fa okay. Draco went to jail. You know when Draco went to jail. It was a whole lot of niggas who had that like underground LA I don't give a fuck type rap going on. You know what I'm saying? You had the blue faces. You had Shoreline. You know what I'm saying? Shoreline was part of the drummer stink. Uh, shore shit that they had going on. The stinky drummer shores. Or however you want to call it. Uh, then you had One Take J. You know, him and Blueface, they, they little rap styles was just alike. One Take was... I don't know. I, I had him up there with Blueface at one point in time. Like I thought he was a, a, a promised L.A. rapper. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of L.A. rappers, they put out music, and then they get comfortable. Like I don't know. It should be weird. I feel like one take should be a little farther than what he is, if you, if you get what I'm saying. A C is so good though. Thing. If you have an a in class, say, Especially if you just like you got an a in class. start going. You walk in class today and you just fucking off. You get an F on your test. Do you still have an A in that class? Ooh, logic. Uh, no, sir. Your, your grades gonna drop. So it's the same thing. So he was doing cool and then you get to versatility and it's a two. You got a twenty percent on a test. Yeah, he ain't that versatile. This nigga all his songs kinda do sound alike. That's crazy. Today. You, you, had a, you had an A, now you got a C. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. It's, it's not personal, it's just that's how grading works. Okay, yeah, that is how grading works. Okay, so these are two, these two next artists that's coming up right now. Yeah, is, uh, two of my favorites. These are, these are two of my favorites. Like, and this... This particular one, I'm going to skip my boy. Well, no matter of fact, no, let's not skip, skip him. Be Definitely not going to skip my skip boy. Who? Skip. But I was going to come back to him. I was going to come back. <laughs> Bino, specifically, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bino go crazy. I love his sound. I love his Been doing his thing for a second. Yeah, I love the whole flow of it. But, um, yeah, explain why my boy, you know what I'm saying, has a B. He, I think he's probably, oh, uh, besides Westside Boogie, he has the higher score on this report card. Well, Bino has a B because just what he means to the city. Um, it's like a core. He's on one accord with the city, and he really the. When you really get past the whole, we, like we make fun of, like you can barely understand what Bino's saying sometimes, and sometimes you can't hardly understand what he's saying. But when you get past that, the lyrics really be busting. Like he really be saying some real shit that really resonates with mm -hmm. niggas out here. So, I mean, I just you know, Bino's a beat to me. That's how the score came out. Let's see, he didn't do too bad in anything. That's another thing. If you don't do too bad in anything, your grade's gonna be solid. Uh, yeah, and he had a, a lot of music with Nipsey that was unreleased. Um, I've heard some. And I got something in drop. I got a Dropbox links out of nowhere. And I don't. If you ever looking at this shit, man, I, it was a lot of verses that wasn't finished. I think you should go finish up that little project because that shit was fire as motherfucker. Okay. But um, yeah, hold on, hold on. A Bino and Nipsey project? Sheesh, that just sound heat. That just sound like some pressure that need to be heard because. Why am I heard none of this? Okay, this particular young man right here, this is yeah. so fucking disrespectful. Right, but I love it. It's your Who? opinion. He's the champion of the Coast right But now. this he's winning. He's particular winning. one he's winning. is so fucking disrespectful. Who? Blast is on top of his motherfucking mm -hmm. game. I haven't Blast? heard a whack motherfucking song from this young man. Never. He's been doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fuck no, you gonna have to at least you get. I'm gonna let you explain it it's because, but I had to get my nigga, opinion on Blast. Right you know what I'm saying I love Blast, but. 
give your opinion on why this man is a C plus and you got Rucci and you got his man right right under him. I don't know. His score is higher than both Rucci. Yeah, it is, but the C plus is the C minus. Uh, you got a C plus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the C minus is the D, motherfucker. You know how you walk in your mama house. You know what that shit is. I know what's up. I know what's up. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I can tell because we say all that smart shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know Nigga see, wrote a magazine. See, it's a bit redundant. I'm like, yeah, see, right. it wasn't allowed. Like, I can't really be coming out with the C's okay. like that. Okay. Well, but, talk about Blast because that's crazy. Um, Blast is like one of the hottest rappers out. He obviously made Double Himself Fresh and Cover. And I do love his music. It does get a bit redundant. We talk about it on the podcast, on my Dan Lay podcast. We talk about it like, damn, this shit do sound like that. And also, even though I like his melodies and his arrangements, his lyrics are not the most prolific you, you said lyrics. redundant as like it's repetitive? Kind of. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's not redundant. You know what I'm saying? Is it re- re- repetitive? Sometimes it's good. You know what I'm saying? If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Okay, it's a beat sound similar. If you talk about uh, Kennedy, repetitive is cool. But when you talk about a new nigga, it's like, nah, you know, I'm ready for him to switch it up or, like, kind of step up the lyricism. Like, Vino will be snapping with the lyrics, and then Blast will just come in with cool melodies and arrangements. But, you call but I, want, I want Blast to just get a little bit more lyrical. What's wrong with me saying I, I want to hear Blast be a little bit, excuse me, be a little bit more lyrical? I wouldn't call Blast really a rapper. I think he's more of a, like, a singer type. He's a singer. High, he's a hybrid, but he is a rapper. Like Ultra Gr- Greedo. He does rap. I have seen him rap. Damn, why didn't Greedo make it to the list? Pressure. Bino, shit, Bino, like you said, Roddy Rich, you know, it, it happens. It, it, Are Roddy on the list? These days. Before we go to this next person, I just wanted to, you know what I'm saying, let you know that I, I had an interview with uh, Joe Moses, and we was we was going over this report card, and I was like, you know what, I don't like, I don't like the trajectory of the West Coast music, and you know what I'm saying, and it's regional, and I just want to know why it's regional, and what, how, how he felt, how he felt about it, and like we can't go to these the South, and we ain't reaching to New York, and I just, I just really want to know why, you know, feeling, and I don't know if. This report card is really good, but even if they was versatile, you feel me, and they had a 10 in that shit, or even if the flow was a 10, I don't even know why the fuck we, we'll still probably be a regional. Why you think that? Well, we have to check out my post called What's Wrong With L.A. Rap. It's on my page right now, and uh, one of the things I said, I'll, I'll say it. Um, if I can read it real quick. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Um, one of the things is, and it's, it's 10 things I put. But number seven is no real press runs. I'm on a press run right now. Mm-hmm. Artists that drop music, post a link, don't do no, don't do any interviews. Good ass point. Cause I hate when a rapper come out with some new shit and they just drop it on niggas' heads. Like you niggas ain't Jay Z. Like you can't just be dropping music out of nowhere and just expect everybody just to fuck with off the dribble. Do a couple press runs. Do some shit that's gonna be like, you know what? We need to go check out this nigga new shit. You know what I'm saying? What have you been doing lately? Niggas just dropping shit thing and they just go there. Y'all niggas ain't wheezy. Don't promote it. So no real press runs. Our rappers only do a couple interviews, if that, when they drop a project. Your team should have two weeks worth of interviews lined up when, Facts. You, when you drop an album. One in L.A., one in New York. Facts. I came up. That's and true. before you finish, mm-hmm. when you guys do... Power 106. Don't be scared Breakfast like club. this man, young man, and come on a white platform and get your ball. Because <laughs> this shit actually helps you. You know what I'm saying? So, but, go ahead, finish. finish. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just want to, right, want to get that off. I just want to get that off. I just want to get it off. I just want to get it off. Watch the power of God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, he put God in And please show up to Black Press. Don't only do No Jumper. Not Don't do No Jumper. Don't only do No Jumper. I mean, you can't even get on here to only do it. There are plenty of black journalists out here with platforms that need interviews to thrive. I'm so not, don't sir. only do that. I'm, 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 I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Because hear me out. Yes, sir. If, you, if you're not on Billboard and you're not selling a million records, you should be doing whatever interviews are coming your way. As long as it's not, it's not gonna harm you or nothing like that. If you can go and do an interview, do it. Don't just hold out. It's artists that only wanna wait till a Hispanic person hit them up to do an interview or Adam or somebody like that. And I didn't I didn't say it's right there in black and white. That's don't, true. Yeah, don't don't do it. I'm just saying don't just do it. Come see a Dan Lake, come see Remix Mag. Come see Hip Hop Hundred. Come see Palm. You know it's it's black ear ear gas. Yes, media. sir. See now that see see yes, I respect that. That's yes, dope. Sir. Cause you just named some no. uh, outlets news yeah, that I have never works. heard about. You shed a light on that. That's yes, sir. Oh, I give you that. I do that all the time. Yes, yes, sir. Really? If a lot of people ain't heard a lot of these rappers that he got on this report court, the nigga shine light on all these niggas. 
honestly, he didn't help to everybody, including himself. Because when you think about it, what they say in NWA, all publicity is good publicity. I have a bosses in LA list I do every year. Shout out a, a, a plethora. I know you, have, you, have, you have my old manager on there. Uh, I respect that. Adrian Swish. Okay, yeah. That's mm -hmm. my guy. He called me. He's the one who told me, like, NFT this. Mm -hmm. So he gives me game two. Yes, sir. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Going to the us, we got that out the way. Blue Bloods clan. Let's yeah. get back into this report card. Um, they got to be up there, man. They might, literally, hold my, on, my, let my me team see. hates me because I, I won't stop playing them. I love their music. Every club, yeah, bro, sir. I go to, they, they the new niggas in I the love club. It. I love it. I want, if, I, if it was really like, I really just wanted to put an A on there. I, I mean, some, I, I, mean, I really just wanted to be like, hey, but I had to do the scores. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, if, I was, if it wasn't scores, Blue Bloods clan, I would have just said, hey. You wasn't biased with nobody on No, because anybody who knows me, knows like I listen to music all the time I can rap every song but they got that three in versatility so again you walk you got an A in class you walk in class you get a 30% on your test you no longer have an A bro elaborate on versatility for West Coast artists um artists don't make enough lady records I feel like they have the like for Blue Bucks they have the want me to and the can I have a couple mm -hmm. but not enough or not just lady records it's other things like I feel like we was talking about in the workshop the other day, like, okay, they can make a little bit more music for broke niggas uh -huh. or niggas born through shit. Where the pain, like, y'all ain't never... People lose homies. You feel me? My grandfather just... Yeah, it's crazy, because for niggas to get some type of pain songs, niggas got to go elsewhere. It's really only a few niggas making pain songs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can get a little bit of pain out of Lil Baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, Rod, the Rilo Rodriguez's, the Young Boys, the Rod Waves. You know what I'm saying? But, like, in L.A., who making pain songs? Like, niggas don't do that. It seems like, oh, in Cali, Mozzie. You know what I'm saying? But in L.A., nah. That's Monday. You get what I'm saying? Like, so, thank you, so. Draco did drop a, a little pain song. When he lost Catchy the Great, yeah, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't know it was unexpected, and it did numbers. So that shit was hard. I don't want to turn on something when I'm not feeling up. Everything ain't Dior, 42. Some days I feel like that, but some days, you feel me, I'll be going through shit. You don't necessarily have a Blue Bus playing song to go to outside of maybe a Remember that's going to make you, you feel me, relate to that when you're going through pain and stuff. So that's versatility. That's just an example with them. That's a lot of artists that's on here true. that need to be a little that's bit more versatile. You got to think about different moods and different people. It can't just be one lane. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, I mean, this person's not on the... Uh rap report card but I want you to do I want you to I want you to grade him right motherfucking now oh, oh. on this show he's not here but his name is AD <laughs> huh. it's crazy I just asked was AD on the golden age one he about to I want to see really gonna grade this nigga grade this nigga Wow, I just said that. I said I wonder if he on the golden age with YG, RJ, and all them niggas. That's crazy. Oh, are you for sure got an F? Ah, don't do it like that. This nigga, this nigga set me up. Yeah. Let's get on my boy right now. Go ahead, go ahead, I love ahead, to do it. Let's do ahead, it, baby. I respect it. Yes, I respect sir. Yeah, we're going to go through go it together. Ahead. Lyricism. Let's do it, baby. That was, that was great. Your lyricism. That was, that was, that was, that was, yeah, yeah. That's funny as fuck. Y'all ready? Lyricism. lyricism. Let's, let's, go, do let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have some fun with him. Okay, okay. What's next? You read off the top. Okay, of impact. I'm going to just put an eye on mine. Impact. Let's do it. Impact. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, AD don't look like he want to be graded right now. <laughs> On the spot, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Oh, he was one of them niggas. He didn't let niggas cheat off his test. He didn't let niggas cheat off his test. See, you one of them niggas. Hey, I ain't gonna take no offense. Are we on cadence? Are we on cadence? Are we on cadence? Yeah, we on cadence. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take your time. Yeah, take your time. He is kind of loud. Cadence. Too loud, nigga. I ain't no, loud. Cadence is the only voice. People's asking, like, what's the difference between Cadence and Flow? Cadence is the voice. Flow is what you do with it. You know what I'm saying? So, 
He loud, motherfucker. Okay. I'm gonna get your head. No, he ain't gonna get me. <laughs> no, he can't do me. No. Flo. Uh, no, no, you got a song somewhere, nigga. I'm gonna find it. Yeah, I'm gonna find it. I gotta go to my one good one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where we at? Where we at? We on Flo. Catalog. Uh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> consistency. <laughs> Music and videos. Music videos. I said music and video. Music videos. All right, let's do. B selection. Nigga, really like Brandon. You can't see it. I'm gonna run out of fucking. Can't see. Nah, nigga, you gonna add them up. You don't need to. It don't matter. <laughs> Originality. Oh. oh man. And versatility. <laughs> we ain't gonna make this whole motherfucking list. But we gonna go through some ones I know. Alright, so let me get a number. Let me do some math. <laughs> this nigga crazy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> ah! Let's try it in the streets. Right, let's yeah, try it in the let's streets. go. Let's All see. Right. What we got? This, this is good content. I fuck with it. Yeah, this is what. What they giving this nigga? I don't want to see you yet. Mm -hmm. If I get a half, I'm walking out the shit. <laughs> don't try to fight. <laughs> no, I ain't going to try to fight. That nigga brought his calculator out on my boy. It's back. Crunching numbers. I'm trying to crunch numbers. Come on. He might give you an extra five. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, man. Not bad. Let me see what he got. What he got? Let's see what he got. What's the, uh, we talking to him. It's a C minus. It's a 70. C minus. My boy got a C minus. You know why that's you know why that's great? You know why that's great? Because my boy ain't dropped no fucking music in two years. Two years? Yeah, but two. Two years, no music, no music videos, no nothing. Right. So for him to still get that great is, you know, well, that, well, that is correct. Well, help him was that Tin and Brandon. Okay. Yes, sir. I, mean, I respect you doing media and shit. I like Appreciate the transition. Yes, so the, sir. Tin, sir. the Tin and Brandon was going. So once home. you get in that consistency category, you know what I'm saying, and that catalog category. Well, you, you, heard, you heard you heard, what, you heard what I got coming. He I got some he got a mental shit. He got a He got a I'm going to send you some now, bro. I give you that. I respect that. Don't just got to help out Black Press. You got to fuck with Black Press. No, no, bro. That's why I like how you just said the name. Say the names again for the people that they should tune into. We have Tally Spencer at Remix Mag. Tally, Tally, yeah. Dylan at Palm. Last night I was at Off the Record Podcast with with Will and them. It's a plethora of people, man. A plethora of media people out here that's new media people, the new wave of media people. And I just hope that they can take my lead as far as being critical, being opinionated. We're no longer gonna do the just only say what you like thing. We're gonna we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna let people know what we don't like, what they can improve on. We're gonna be respectful with it like I am. I don't call people out their names. I don't threaten people with violence. I just say, hey you're consistent as a three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying that to me that's respectful. If you and I'll give you this, you're very brave to do something like this, especially with LA as much gang bang politics as we have. Right. Didn't I say that at the beginning of the video? I said with LA being so gang political, to say something about any LA artist nigga, you are brave. Niggas gonna wanna do something to somebody. Some people are gonna look at this and they're gonna be like, I wanna kill this nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? You see? It is emotion. It is emotion. emotion. I thought the streets and emotion I'm supposed to. They, you right. You're, right. Right. you're right about that. This you're is right supposed right. to be, you're supposed but, to be grown men doing business. But if you somebody right now that's sitting there saying, like, I don't give a fuck even if you kill me, I'm gonna speak my opinion if this is what the West Coast needs. Well, I'm I can not, respect I'm that. I'm not gonna speak death and over myself. I'm gonna speak life over myself and prosperity and well being and blessings. And I think God has a great journey ahead of me. Okay, back to your report card. I want to skip. A, I want to skip these guys. I, even though I know the cool Wally Key. Shout out, shout out to G Perico. Yeah, so we're gonna, we, Perico. We're gonna start. We're gonna start there because this is three that's going in a row that I feel like uh, are. You know what I'm saying? Who? It's crazy. Hold on. Let me. We gonna do G Perico first. I don't want to know why G Perico got a C. You know what I'm saying? Let it be known. Uh, well, I believe his quote was that he was just happy to be um, included. 
with the with the younger niggas, now, especially wow. as a veteran rapper. So he took yes, it. Sir. He took it with a grain of salt. He wasn't offended by it, but you know he got a ten in consistency because he dropped like. You three go hard. Smash. He dropped. So that's gonna that, that helps. Just like a three hertz, a ten helps. Mm -hmm. You know, if you got a B or a C in class and you walk in and get an A on the test, now your grade might go up. So he got a ten in consistency because he dropped like ten eleven projects last year. Come on, man. And then his branding is on point. The blue T-shirt. First it was mm -hmm. no way out. Now it's blue T-shirt. Come on, that means a businessman. So his branding also with the ten. That's what helped him out. That's why you know he's at a, a C plus actually, not even just a C. Yeah, C plus. And then you got my boy Rimbo on here. Rimbo's been making noise. Yeah, Rimbo's Rimbo's been doing his thing. Rimbo hard. You know what I'm saying he's very fire. I done been blocked the block and Crocs and that nigga Rimbo be snapping. Hey, and shout out to Draco once again. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for Draco. There would be no Rimble. You know what I mean? My nigga Draco found him. He had a good ear towards the streets and changed this young man's whole life around. Long live Draco, man. Long live the root. Um, and, you know what I'm saying, he's graded right up, right under my boy uh, G. Perico with a C. Yep, and one day he'll be at an A because he's definitely talented. Uh, we just got to work on that uh, versatility. That versatility score got him. I believe he got a three in versatility because um, he doesn't do the lady records. Again, he doesn't really do the pain music. We haven't really got different sides of me yet. He only put out one project. And so that's far. subjective, too, because, I mean... It's all, maybe, it's all subjective. Yeah, because maybe he don't want to go down that and, and he don't have to. You know what I'm saying? With me as a fan, as a person listening, mm -hmm. it's like I said, if you go through something, like I've been going through stuff this week, I ain't got nothing to turn on yeah. from Rimble to help me deal with my situation. That's true. You get what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I got to go play somebody from outside of L.A. I got to go play Young Boy or Ride Wave or somebody to get that type of music. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Do I need to be what this nigga is? I, how everything he said or they saying, I said already. That shit is crazy. Because it's not versatile enough out here. Because at that point, it's all repetitive. And these niggas all sound the same. So That's what people say every day on Twitter. That's why I don't understand. Like People say, LA Rappers Week, all these niggas sound the same. Da, 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 da. I have the tweet screenshot. But then when I make a document that echoes that sentiment, it's a problem. And it's like, well, that's organization. Like... So, right now, with this next artist right here, I feel like there's another disrespectful grade for, disrespect. for this young this young man. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing his thing. He's right under, you know what I'm saying, uh, the hottest artist in Los Angeles uh, right now. Uh, he's doing his thing, Roddy Rich. Yes, sir. Um, and he has a C. So, you graded G Perico a C plus and right. Roddy Rich a C. Right. And this man damn near has a classic album. His a, a, a semi classic album. Yes, sir. And uh, his new album. Ain't no um, damn semi classic. It's a semi classic album. It's a classic. <laughs> that's, that's a, a classic. classic. That's, that's a classic, a classic right? album. To me, it's a semi classic. It's like right there be, it being a, a, and a classic. It's like a four and a half. It's not the five to me. He because might be besides. That's you, yes, but but right. besides Tyler, the creator. He might be the richest on this list. That's great. Now, that's money great. has nothing to do with anything. If you talk I mean, it's money. I mean, the music got you there, right? No, but the money don't got nothing to do with but, the, the art, artistry of it. I mean, As a but, fan, it don't have nothing to do with it. And this is a, a fan's opinion. So let me ask you a question. You asked him, why is G. Perico over Roddy Rich? Yes, G. Perico sounds like he's from L.A. Yeah. My platform's called I can do you that. My platform's called a day in L.A. This, say this that. says the new L.A. rapper book art. Roddy Rich doesn't have our sound. You get what I'm saying? He refuses to make a, pro a body of work with our sound. So the analogy I use is Obama. Obama's first term, I understand you got to go in there and walk on eggshells, da 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 But on that second term, nigga, we was looking at Obama like, okay, do something for home team, nigga. So when Roddy comes in, he puts out that first album, and he does like what I'm assuming the label will want him to do and make this pop record that reaches the whole country. On the second album, I'm ready for you to give us that classic West Coast L.A. shit, and he didn't come with that. So that's why he has a C to me, and that's why G. Perico ranks over him. G. Perico put out 10 projects that sound like he's from L.A. Again, so, this is this young man. So hey, let me find out this nigga Teddy Ray is critiquing niggas rap. Because this nigga remind me exactly of Teddy Ray. Yeah, just, um, yeah, because I feel like he's doing his All thing. Deaf Digital like, wasn't doing it for you? He's, he's reached a level to where he doesn't have to. I mean, just artistry, period. You don't have to just keep doing that L.A. sound and that L.A. shit. What, that shit is that's what so put him repetitive. On. What put him on? Rocks in the middle. I, I, it's a, I, I get what you're saying because, like, you know. Our it, biggest artist doesn't make our sound of music. Like, yeah. that's just another handicap for L.A. Like, damn, our biggest commercial artist right now. Don't even make our sound. Imagine if he was making more of our sound. At least half his new album sounded like that. People were saying, why didn't he get mustard to executive producing? 
You get what I'm saying? That would be fine. That the, would be fine. The single that charted is the Mustard record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your next, your next report card. I need to see Kendrick on this list. And of elaborate. Course Kendrick's on there. Uh, yeah, elaborate because I'm gonna want to see because he he's he's not doing uh, traditional West Coast music. And I, um, he's he's in the same box as Roddy Rich with Roddy Rich. Not on his uh, first you know album. Saying? Not on Just, his first uh, album. His first album was L.A. Was his, first, his first album was, was, was LA. Compton. His first album was Compton. That was West Coast to the to He, the he gave us a classic debut L.A. rap album that became a classic debut album, period. You get what I'm saying? But it had Compton sound, L.A. sound. Would yeah, you, MCA on that album. Come he on. He did. Would you give My Crazy Life? I feel that's a classic album. Well, people despise me. Because I think <laughs> <laughs> I think that my crazy life is a better album than Good Kid, Mad City. Just my personal opinion. Yeah, you can say that. So when I be doing those polls, man, people be like, man, I'm finna block you. You don't know shit about music. Da, da, da. It's like, nah, man, that's, that's my personal opinion. opinion. In my car, I'ma play my crazy because life. Because that was more West Coast, and I feel like, I mean, uh, Kendrick will put those. I ain't gonna lie, my crazy life was decent. Like we gonna have to get that to do. You know what I'm saying? That was a from not talking about how it was. It was damn near like a movie. Like you can listen to that that album and be like, damn, like I could damn near picture this. From the time the album come on and the nigga mom was like, Kenan! Kenan the quad ray motherfucking yet Dude I'm talking about through the whole album. That shit is horrible. Uh, he'll have those visual moments for you and he'll bring those stories in but as far as like the production and the sound and the whole thing overall like that wasn't totally West Coast it wasn't you feel me so not man. as much as the My Crazy Life that's why I like My Crazy yeah. Life more though so yeah Roddy Rich we got over there um, so so you, uh, you really are just a West Coast <laughs> enthusiast yeah man I told you that's all I've done Okay. That's literally all I've done. This is what I know how to do. So what do you say to the artists that have influences like, you know, like my, like my boy O.T. Genesis? Like, right, yeah, yeah. I grew up with Jen, and he didn't like West Coast music. At all? No. Okay. Except like the OGs and stuff like that. He really, all right, moved, moved to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? He liked the way he liked that sound. And I remember they was like, they wasn't fucking with it. Like, nigga, you ain't West Coast. Well, you know, he just pulled a genius marketing plan by kind of almost tricking us a little bit with the Coco record because it doesn't sound like it's from L.A. and that's why it went so big. That's true. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not demonizing anybody for not making L.A. music. I'm just saying I like artists that make L.A. music. And you that's your opinion. That's my opinion. I'm not throwing eggs or tomatoes on anybody that chooses to make whatever fucking music you want. You want to make rock music, make it. Korean pop. I don't I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this is just what I like. You know what I'm saying? This is this, what I play in my car. This is a big one, man. This is what really got the, the, the feathers ruffling. You know what I'm saying? My boy Jason Cash. Yes, sir. Uh, the, my this boy. Shit, yeah, this shit got f he, he was he rough. Was mad. So he invited me out to Atlanta. Flow me to eleven. <laughs> but tell his story. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, to the, tell his story all the way through. And you know what I'm saying? So he, why he's not able to drop music? What he was doing? You know what I'm saying? And how, what's going well, on? Well, with unfortunately, him? that doesn't fit on the report card. But he asked me to pull up to Atlantic <laughs> Records. He, that's my boy, too. He, he's on the freshman cup. Jason Cash is right here. This is really my boy. I think, bro, is dope. He's one of my favorite artists out right now. Yeah. He put, he had me, had me pull up to Atlantic Records. He played me one of the best albums I've heard in a long time. Wow. I can't even tell you the level of features that's on it. Like, big names. I can tell you off camera. I heard a lot of shit. I don't want to spoil it. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it. Like, just roll out a one night. But he only has three songs out. So I heard a whole album full of heat. But I can't put I'm not gonna lie, I don't know who they talking about, but guess what? Since they bring him up in this interview, I'm gonna go give this nigga a listen. For sure. On the report card, I have to judge what you agree what's out right what's now. Out. So if you're a rapper and you only have and you're signed to a label and you only have three songs out, I don't see how you could possibly get if anything you would think it'd be an F, it's a D plus because I believe in the flow. Like you said, the flow damn near an eleven. It, it should be on the on the, on this it should be notes. Oh, so <laughs> they, notes? Look, it said Jason hey, yeah, Cash so and then she'd be like you should, hey, no, no, so he no, just, drop you music. should really do that more. Uh -huh. It's just a little, yeah, just yeah, a yeah. couple lines like uh -huh. my boy couldn't drop music. They could be like, okay, I see you at a D plus yeah. went there. You know what I'm saying? Like some little shit. You feel me? Like what I did this suggestion. That, that, that's a suggestion I'll take from you. Yeah, Cause the teacher okay. does that too. Absolutely, I've seen. He you let you know why you got to have. You right. You right. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I was doing in the workshop. I did tell him this though. Yeah, Gotti KB, we not going to go through that. little Deuce, we not going to go through that, man. I know y'all probably hot. We ain't going to even gonna get this on this whole thing. Ralphie the plug, I'm not. You can't get Ralphie F. Come on, dog. I, don't know. I mean, we can go. To, shout out to him, though. He's dropping past the Ralphie. You gave Ralphie the plug an F? See, this is why Ralphie, man. Man, long live Draco. You gave this nigga brother an F? Man, Ralphie been putting in the most work. This year, like nigga, since January, just January 
2022 started, nigga to put out more music than nigga your favorite artist. Video after video, this nigga then dropped a video to every song on Pastor Ralphie. Two. Mixtape, nigga said he's dropping a mixtape every month. Oh, the disrespect. I'm gonna lie to you, Dijon, Mustard, Paul. You lost me when it came to that one, because I'm a fan of Ralphie. Now I got some shit to say. N the next report card, you better change this nigga's grade. That's all I'm gonna say. Forgot the date, but he's dropping Pastor Ralph too. We're gonna go right into my boy Westside Boogie. Dropped. I love yeah. Westside Boogie. It was yeah, the 12th, I wanna say. He did good. Yes, sir. The 21st. He doesn't drop too often. I think that's what kind of got him. He doesn't really drop too often. He hasn't dropped a project since like 2020. So you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, see, and then you deck your notes. Yeah, you're right. I need your notes. Because <laughs> the niggas would be like, man, you hate that nigga. No, you know what I'm saying? And we don't wanna just, do that. There's reasons. There's logic behind all this. I promise. Yeah. Okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? We went through there, man. Um, I got to talk about some music. I, yeah, I just, we got, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. We got to talk about music. We want to still, you know, be a little bit controversial on what's going on. We to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we got to get it there. It's, it's we we have moments. moments. <laughs> we have moments. Yeah, we have moments. We have moments on here. We have hey, more moments man, on here. I got to hold it down for our peoples, man. Okay, you know that's what but I, now, before we end it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I really, again, I brought you on the show. I think you're a great black creator. You're doing your thing. This is a great platform, even though a white man owns it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, he, he, you know what I'm saying? We are Let's on here. You know what I'm saying? We are on here, coming, doing our thing. And, Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? He's he's letting us. You know what I'm saying? Share what we love. You right. know what I'm saying? And do what we doing. So, you know what I'm saying? So, your opinion really matters. Because sometimes you wouldn't be able to get to Adam and, and share that opinion. Him and understand it and the culture in L.A. He wouldn't probably give a fuck. You know that's what I'm saying? Cool. You know, that's why I, said I started this out with Chess Records. This, prof this professional. Thank you, bro. Yeah, yeah, Chess yeah. Chess Records Motown. That's you know, all. I mean, no, nigga. This is uh, Def Jam and Death Row. Oh, you know what I'm saying? When we doing it. When we doing it. You know what I'm saying? When we doing it. It's like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how we feel it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I gonna go. You know what I mean? I mean, your teacher, you, you got, somebody got to teach you. You know what I'm saying? And then you get there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You feel me? But, um, appreciate it, we appreciate you. We we definitely love it. But, again, I know Gina came over here with the, uh, with the crazy, <laughs> I think she came over here with the crazy attitude. I didn't um, pull her. I just that's my But I, I think you guys, you know, just using this platform, you guys should use this to communicate. Make up, you know what I'm saying? Communicate with each other. I, I'm willing to give my seat up to Gina, so you guys can call it. You know what I'm saying? Call it like it is. Talk to each other, and then we gonna end the show on a perfect note. Well, we got like eight minutes. Yeah, left, so gotta, come on, baby, you got eight minutes to talk about it. You wanna yeah, talk about it? Come on. Do this off camera. We can, we can, we can, we can, we can do, we can do. Want to do it off camera? I'd rather do it off camera. Well, let, let us say something. Nothing disrespectful. No, I'm not looking at Come on, let us, let, let us sit down. I'd rather do it off camera. Oh, this is great. This is great content, man. You, I would just want to say no, something for the record thing, in thing. front of the camera. I've never walked into a Gina Hughes no, 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 interview no, 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 and, no, no, and, just, just, and come started to say how I feel. Just like I didn't come in her, I didn't come in her room. No, 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 no. We, I, no, we just gonna we gonna respect each other. She said she's not gonna say nothing disrespectful. Y'all, right. hey, y'all guys are both black creators, and hopefully from this, y'all can work on some shit, it's, do something to make LA. She wants to make LA radio better. You want to make LA better? Let's go. Issue. I do not have an issue with you Likewise. whatsoever. Like I told T Real yesterday, Dijon is sick with the pen. Thank you. You wrote my whole fashion's bio. Mm -hmm. I came to you for that. When people contact me for press releases and stuff like that, I let them know I don't fucking write. Contact Tally, contact Dijon. Okay. That's how I've been doing it. Now you brought up the spaces. Right. No way, shape, or form did I mean to disrespect you by creating the space with I that. So I'm letting you know I didn't mean to do that. Right, right. I apologize for that. Man, Hearing that. you say it, I'll kind of see, you know, why you might feel disrespected by it. Right, because I was going to do, I was literally about to do one. So, I told Scotty, hey, hit him and see if he'll come in. Text me. And, I, and anybody that was in there, when they was talking shit, I said, hey, D Dijon ain't ducking nothing. I said that out of my mouth. Well, I wasn't privy to that. I said that out of my mouth. Dijon not ducking nothing. He going to come in here. I wasn't going to come. But that was just me defending right. you. I wasn't going to come in because I was about to do my own room. Yeah, <laughs> you get what totally saying? understand. I'm just right. letting you know, because I know you have said in spaces before that you feel like um, 
I'm moving with the people who were attempting to blackball you. I, t- I told you that in uh, the most recent one when we got into it. I told exactly. you Exactly. Yeah, you do business with the people that said there was no black woman. But that has nothing to do with you. I'm just saying that you, you can't come in the room. Well, this is how I feel. I feel like you can't come in the room and talk to me about my delivery or how I do business mm-hmm. when you do business with the people that are making it hard for me to do business. So I just rather you, I rather not take your opinion or your advice on certain matters. Prior to That's today, I, I have never heard that. This nigga articulated so really about well. Me or anything, so I didn't know about that. Oh, yeah, that I know nice about point. the clubhouse when well, we were all in clubhouse. When I woke up one morning and I get on clubhouse, somebody seemed like, hey, they talking shit about you in clubhouse. I get in there, you're in there. Silence no, I came there. in afterwards. No, you was already in that room. No. But however it goes, however it goes, it is what it is. But I appreciate you apologizing for saying that, you know, you did the wrong. And I did take offense to that because I yeah. would never, if you put out a piece of content, I would never make a room about it without just hitting you and being like, hey, let's do a room. Because I would add you as a co host and I would have put you on the flyer. LA Rap Workshop, ADA Lady John, and Gina Views. I would have, you know, just like I have the ladies co host and I would have had you co hosting. I would have loved to talk about this report card with you, but when you came in the room, and you weren't the only one, so let, let me not just pin it all on you. There was a few people that came in the room disrupting the workshop and wouldn't let me talk about the music. They wanted to talk about how I talked to people, my shit. delivery mm-hmm. and stuff. And it's like my name's not on here as far as being an artist. I really want to talk about the music just like today. I really came here to talk about the music. So, so that's well, all it was. Wait a minute. Like I've, Water under the bridge? Can no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can y'all no. work together and do some shit? I've, we, we off camera, good. I have to set some shit to tell him. Okay. But... Um, like in regards to the report card, right. I never felt like it was nothing wrong with it. Right. With the exception of you know some people and at some point y'all brought up. Right. But I want my... you to what you I wanted you to if you came in the room I wanted you to come in the room and be like look I feel like Chike deserve a, a this. No, I feel like, like I told you this. before. That's, like I that's told, cool. I'm not against that. I don't like I told you it, before. I, I come. Argue. I come in your shit and I learn stuff. Okay. Remember that day when you was talking about this new dog shit? Right, I right. said, I just want to fucking learn. Right, right. That's what a workshop is for. I learned from you. So, <laughs> with that being said, like, when I seen this shit, I just wanted to let you know, like, from the perspective of what people, the, the context, add some context. Why are these artists so upset? Like I told you, it's because you've been rooting for fucking L.A. You've been going fucking hard for L.A. Right. You've been doing it so much that it was like, damn, finally somebody's saying the shit that I've been saying. Right. I've been saying this shit since 2014, but since I'm a little black girl from the hood, niggas, they, they, you know, they not fucking listening. Right. But when you came on the timeline and did it, you posted pictures of motherfuckers and everything, yeah. and it was like, shake this I'm, motherfucker I'm up. But so this is I, me rooting for LA too. This is, it's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, coach no. a coach don't always have something positive to say. Sometimes they say, hey, you, you fucking up, bro. But no, no, no. That was just me adding context, up, and when I was adding my context, you came with, with your opinion on no value, because you work on the white platform. Well, again, again, that was the third strike with me in 24 hours. So I pointed out before you walked yeah. over there, I pointed out it's a three, combination the of things three things that, made you that say happened that. that made me just snap on you like that because that was the third thing. Like I said, first it was the room, second it was the tweet to me, and then third it was you coming in the room and not discussing music but interrupting the room to talk about my delivery. You weren't the only person to do that. It's, you know it was other rappers in there that was doing that, a plethora of other rappers. But that's what made me snap because it's like I, I feel like if I could come room. from a more a feminine perspective and be calm and cool and say it, but you then, were screaming. No, I I, 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 had screaming. Whole, I had the whole conversation. I, I, I didn't scream until you. I didn't get spicy. No, you you started with. I didn't you, get spicy you, into the white platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, right, you started right, with right, the look, look, look. she defended gonna, me. Look, look, we gonna wrap this. Yeah, up. yeah. I didn't hey, get spicy no, into the white platform. She defended me. Thank you, thank you, my brother, for coming and giving you. I ain't gonna lie, dope ass, dope ass video. That was crazy. Hey, shout out to Gina for keeping it calm and culture, cause she could have, she could have got that mic and said anything she wanted to say about this nigga. You know what I'm saying? His room or whatever. But she, you see what I'm saying? She said she learned from this thing. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about competition all the time or who did what wrong. Sometimes you just gotta, you know what I'm saying? Still sharper still, especially when y'all got the same outlook on shit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all in the same type of business. It's only right to put bygones be bygones. Or y'all ain't got to be friends at first. You know what I'm saying? When when you look back at it, it's like, damn, we didn't even really rock with each other like that. But then we came together and we made something dope. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's really supposed to be. It's like how t Real said he invited dude on there just so. Because he feel like they all supposed to stick together. You know what I mean? Like, him being a part of, like, not no drummer, but, like, rubbing shoulders with them niggas is kind of good for the culture. You know what I'm saying? Because... Him and AD, T-Rail, Gina, they can all share ideas, you know what I'm saying? And you never know what could come about this. Dijon, 
W, you know what I'm saying, W to you, because you got your name out there, you did exactly what you were supposed to do, you know what I'm saying, you made noise, like, it did the noise, and like, and then the fact that you went to No Jumper with it from just a report card on rap niggas, that's crazy to me, like, it's real life crazy, because, nigga, you did what you were supposed to do at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, hey, W video, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to T-Rail, shout out to AD. This is another no jumper reaction, you know what I'm saying? Uh, T-Rail's a hell of an interviewer. Anyways, man, like, comment, subscribe, turn the post notification bell so you don't miss a video.